Hey everybody! There's a Nintendo Direct today, and because Mal recently had surgery and is still recovering, my my special guest is Haley. We have no idea what's in this Direct. I have heard nothing. So... And I don't even usually watch Directs all the way through, I find out about them later. But yeah. I am expecting a Xenogears re-release. 100% chance of it. We'll probably get a little more info, maybe, about the Super Mario RPG remake, because that's only a few months away. That's the only thing I can even think of. Like, I, there will be some sort of surprise, and I'm so excited for whatever it is. Xenogears. I'm confident. <laughs> yeah, maybe. It wouldn't even make sense for it to be on this system. <laughs> but I know. Stranger things have happened. <laughs> Splatoon. Again. Dead. Yeah, I think <laughs> heaven. Splatoon heaven. I mean, this is, that is what dead coral looks like. So, is this, is this like a portal Splatoon crossover? Oh, cool. That's neat. There's a the. I forget what the game's called now. It's the Mario and Donkey Kong Mario. puzzle solving game. Oh, it's called Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Creative title. Donkey Kong has stolen all the mini Mario toys from the factory. Donkey Kong's a thief. He's going to prison. I thought he only cared about bananas. But sometimes. But sometimes he cares about collectibles. I mean, I do love puzzle games. I'm a sucker for puzzle games. Yeah, this was a whole. This was a whole series. It was on Game Boy Advance. I think it was on DS. Maybe 3DS. There were several games. And it has roots in the NES because there's uh, whatever Donkey Kong, one of them, one of the Donkey Kong games for NES was similar to this. Yeah, puzzle games are some of the first games I like got into as someone with not great hand-eye coordination. <laughs> In this updated version <laughs> Ow, my head! <laughs> oh, that's... I don't think there was co-op in the old ones, so that's... That's cool. Oh, it's Prince of Persia. Yeah, I was like, I see this what it was. It's a... It's a side-scrolling Prince of Persia. Interesting. Because for a while the series had went three-dimensional. Yeah. But the roots are obviously two-dimensional, so this is, this is a nice return to form. These games will help you chase your passions. <laughs> what? Oh, a race. Oh. This is very fast. Like, there's a lot happening. <laughs> Hoping this was a, you know, beetle battle. <laughs> when are we going to get a new Beetle Adventure Racing? I am so ready for a new uh, Beetle Adventure Racing. Beetle Battle was just mm, so good. I like that dog. I do like that dog. More dogs should wear bow ties. Oh good, the dog has outfits. Mario's first RPG adventure returns! Haley is also another uh, big fan of Super Mario RPG. Oh, we're getting a chance to see a lot more stuff. Oh, it's beautiful, Haley. Oh, it looks just like how it should. Oh, look at that. This is great. The stars! Oh, sorry, oh, the stars are my favorite enemy. your attacks perfectly, you can now damage all enemies at once. Oh, interesting. Okay, yeah, that changes things. Because, yeah, there weren't a ton of... I'm curious how that's going to change things. Like, they, they'll have to oh. rebalance the game for that. So there's there's triple moves. When you fill the gauge, you can do big special moves. This is, this is so cool because it's so clearly staying true to the original while also adding stuff, and I love that. The famous song. <laughs> but there are a lot of very good songs in this game. There are. I, I think I think the Forest Mushroom song probably is the most famous song from Mario RPG, but there's so much good music in that game. That entire soundtrack to me is just like perfection. Yes. Like it's it really of, is. It's so good. It is so good. Just such a good use of like every instrument. It's masterclass. Yeah, I love it. Oh, uh Trace Memory. I never played Trace Memory, but it, it was one of those games that came out that kind of had a bit of a cult following. And it was like a good game, it just didn't sell super well, I think. And I think this is a remake of that, but for Switch. Yeah, I mean, because it's similar to that I do like puzzle games, I feel like it's the kind of game that I probably would have got into if I had gotten it. Yeah. 
So oh, I think it's another. it's two. So I think it comes with oh, you're the original, right. yeah, there you go. but then also a sequel. Oh, interesting. Which we never had before. So you get both of them. Now for the Switch, they've been completely remade. And then the second one, which was never released in English. Okay. That's really cool. Interesting. Yeah, I, there's, there's a lot of like good reviews and stuff of trace memory so that's probably one to pick up yeah especially since i missed it the first time yeah is this is the peach game yeah is this a a new super princess peach it's up to peach and the theater's guardian stella to do like stella i am into that this this must be super like a new version of super princess peach yeah i feel like what the switch does really well is like visual gimmicks mm -hmm. like it, Whoa, part of how it makes up for you know the the lack of power yeah it's like but you know having things where like it looks like it's a stage like and that stuff to me always really pays off but i, I suppose i am very nostalgic for that kind of stuff because that's sort of what they had to do with like you know super it's, nintendo and playstation one like you know when, when they had a lot of limits on the graphics yeah you have to have very strong art design. Yeah. You have to have uh, something that you're going for if you have the the power limitations. And first party Nintendo games always do that so well. Yeah, like but, but when the first Paper Mario came out, like that yes. was so amazing. It That's was, a good example. It was just a visual idea that they just really went with and it really shined and the game's aged so well. Yep. So many cosplayers are going to be very pumped about this game. <laughs> So yeah, this is definitely way, way more than a new Super Princess Peach. Like, this is like a, a completely new idea, and I think that's a, a cool direction. A new saga begins. A new saga game. Oh! Like, well, I, I, miss, I mostly played Romancing Saga. Mm -hmm. um, but Romancing Saga is really interesting. I mean, you can definitely tell that, you know, people on that went on to make Chrono uh, Cross. Mm. I'm just here to make references to old games. Everybody wants to hear <laughs> that, well, me talk what, about it. That's why you're so excited about Super Mario RPG. Everybody wants me to hear me talk about that stuff. Wasn't there already, there was already a remake of Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider mm, Anniversary, I want to say? Something like that, I don't yeah. remember. But I don't remember if that was just the first game or if it was like all the games. So this is just like a. This is a bit. This is an updo. This game scared me so much as a kid. Tomb Raider? Yeah, because I'd watch my brother play and I was so scared for him. I was so afraid. And like the piranhas, oh man, the piranhas, so spooky. It was a thing where like I was really young and like this was like the spookiest setting I could possibly imagine. Mm. And then like, you know, it was real scary because I wanted my brother to beat the game. Tomb Raider is one of the games that I've just never had a chance to play because it was PlayStation at a time when I was Nintendo 64. Yes, yeah, we, we were a PlayStation household. Yeah. The detective duo of Pikachu and his partner Tim investigate various cases while and searching. And Harry, who's just Harry Tim with a beard. <laughs> oh! This is your favorite game. I mean, I do love Trombone Simulator. This, this game is great. And if if folks haven't played it, it's one oh it's trombone champ that's what it's called. Yeah, it's great. I did a stream of it, and it's it's wonderful. It's, yeah. it was the funniest game I played when I, last year was it. Yeah, yeah, because I remember you streaming it. Oh, and you have gyro controls. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's terrifying. That is gimmicky as hell, and I love it. Yeah, I mean, that's it's funny. Eventually we'll get, you know, clarinet champ, and that'll just be like, you need so many buttons. <laughs> Three controllers taped together. Oh, there's a four-player mode. I don't know if they had added that in the PC version or not. Well, then that's a fun... Oh! Today! Well, you, you can you can blow today. Are Wonderful. You, are you ready for that stream? For that stream with the four of us? Yeah. A reimagining. Well, that's cool. Contra's a fun uh, a fun game, so having remakes of that is uh, is nice. It's a fun co-op game. Is this Fire Emblem? Is this Tactics Ogre? I don't know. It's more anime. It, yeah. I I really love the styles of like. You know, Tactics Ogre and the first Final Fantasy Tactics. I mean, obviously that's just a Tactics Ogre skin, but 
Um, I'm a sucker sometimes for that kind of stuff, but I do like it when it's slightly less anime. Because, like, I can really get into some, like, Shakespearean stuff, but then, like, I don't really want to make food. I just kind of want to, like, I just want to, like, really lean into, lean into this. Unicorn overload. Yeah, because, like... Oh, overlord. <laughs> Yeah, because it, it's very tactics flavored. It's more like it looks more anime, and that doesn't interest me quite as much. Because sometimes I'd, I just want I want to be I want a gritty Shakespearean tale. Is this dark this, speaking moon? of a gritty Shakespearean? Oh, tale. this is gritty Shakespearean. I think this is Dark Moon, because they they had talked Luigi's about yeah, they were bringing. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 2 to the Switch, to which I is... I never beat this. I borrowed this game from you, but I never beat it. Oh, well, now you can just play it on the Switch. Yeah. The other thing is that Mal and I had played through Luigi's Mansion for an October, like, a few years ago. Mm -hmm. But I was like, ah, we'll have to skip Luigi's Mansion 2 because it's on 3DS. And now, like, we don't have to. We can just play it. Like, I remember thoroughly enjoying the game. It's just... Yeah. Oh, all of the Luigi's Mansion games are really, really I just had polished. a lot happening in my life at that time like moving across the country and that'll do it one thing i do miss about the 3ds is the stereoscopic 3d i know that that ended up being a feature that a lot of people didn't use and then eventually and then eventually they stopped uh, having games come out with it it's like oh this won't be 3d but i actually loved that I, I really loved that. I feel like I was too old. It gave me a headache. Mm. The official name of this gallery will be the Nintendo Museum. Oh, that's cool. I'm kind of surprised they don't have one. Construction completed by March 2024. That's neat. That's an exciting date. I'm telling you, Xenogears <laughs> announcement's coming right now. Mm, yeah, yeah, probably. This is this is gonna. They'll lead into it. I mean, the amiibos are cool. They, I've I've always thought that they were really really neat. The fact that you'll be able to have amiibos for every character in Smash is kind of wild. Oh my God, we're gonna get a new F Zero. Ooh, that gives me chills. It's been twenty years. Twenty. Oh God, maybe more. Probably twenty. There was. Oh my God. <laughs> Is this like the Tetris 99? Yes, <laughs> this is F-Zero 99, oh my god! Wow, wow, that is hilarious. This is a good way of, of doing it. a good idea. Like, I know people want like a completely new F-Zero. This is fun. But maybe we could build some interest with F-Zero 99. But this is a very funny way of doing this. I love this. Today, wow. Oh wow. Dang. Man, I played the Wii WarioWare so much. Yeah. And this is a bit of a return to form for yeah. that. Which is really, really nice. Because that I really feel like the, the Wii one was probably one of the most fun ones. Oh yeah, no, that, that game I really got liked that one. so much play. Like my parents played it. Like it was it would be one of those games I would we'd play Wii Sports and then we'd play this for like hours. Yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what we like to see. Definitely want more twerking in games. I mean, that's that's WarioWare's aesthetic. Even like before <laughs> twerking existed, WarioWare probably invented twerking in that's true. games. That's just, true. I just, keep, I just keep wanting to play Tactics Oak. I like that watching the Direct, instead of making you buy like a new game, will be like, now I want to go back and play Tactics Oak. Well, because I'm just like, oh, I really like Tactics Oak. That's, that's really like the, the like, that's the tone I want at all times now. Hey, I like this game. I've played so many hours of the first Wargroove. Wargroove. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's interesting because like Wargroove came along at the time when Advanced Wars wasn't yeah, was existed. They weren't, they weren't doing anything. Yeah, this was just the Stardew Valley of Advanced Wars. Yes, yes it was. That's the best way of putting it. So I had actually never played Advanced Wars. Well, since then they've re they've re-released Advance Wars One and Two as yeah. a Switch collection, but like if you had played Wargroove first, it would probably feel a little limiting to go back to Advance Wars because there's a lot of like quality of life stuff. So I mean, I assume it would basically be like if you played Stardew Valley and then try to play Harvest Moon. Yeah. I want to make sushi. I've heard really good things about Dave the Diver. Try to exceed culinary expectations. Uh, that really insinuated that you would kill a merman and turn him into sushi, and now I want to play this game. I think the merman is, is maybe it's a playable character. Hmm. 
I want to serve him in, in the restaurant. <laughs> Mao and I have been uh, very deliberately not playing Mario Kart 8, uh, waiting for all of the DLC to come out. It's been like two years of DLC, and I was like, ah, once it's all out, we'll we'll play it again. So like very soon. I am looking forward to Super Mario Bros. Wonder. I want to play that with you and Alex, but I just don't know when. <laughs> yeah. There's so many video games. So it's gonna be something. Sound good. But will I like it? A new 3D Mario game? New Paper Mario? Paper Mario Remake. Yeah, I could see a Paper Mario. Yeah, I was like, yeah, that's Paper Mario. Cause it's Paper Mario. Mario. Is it the first? This Mario? is the this is the first Paper this Mario, like right? The first one. Rogue nope. Port oh, is yeah, Thousand, like Year Thousand Year Door. Yeah. Okay. This is going to make so many people scream. So many people scream. I am excited about this because I've started at Thousand Year Door, like three times, got halfway through, and then like I was usually at somebody's house and never got to finish it. Great. The lighting effects on this look great. Oh yeah, so, they're very, oh they look so cool. Like, I, I, I bought and played uh, Thousand Year Door to completion on launch. Yeah. I haven't played it since then. I do recall it being an exceptionally good RPG very good, and just yeah. very, very fun. Um, so I would I would love to get a chance to to replay it. So yeah, this is something that people have wanted for a long time, yeah. especially because the the Paper Mario series went in some directions that people didn't love, and everyone kind of looked at Thousand Year Door as like the definitive de facto Paper Mario experience. Yeah. And now they can just they can just That's play it. Because yeah, because Bug uh, Bug Fables. Yeah. Uh, and so I played that during recovery of my surgery a couple years ago, and I had so much fun with that. That was yeah. so much fun, which that one is also the Stardew Valley, too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> which, yeah, Bug, Bug Fables was great. And if you've not played that game, I would highly, 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 highly recommend it. But this is also going to make people excited. I'm going to get this because I would love to actually finish it someday as opposed to just start it <laughs> when somebody brings it over to my house. This adventure in a paper world starring Mario Yeah, I have this on the shelf behind me, so like... That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. In every game you have on the shelf, Thank you're you a watch. huge fan of, including the Just Dance games. That's true. Strangely, this is the best seller. I, I must have more than one copy of this, because this says bestseller, and I definitely have the... Like, I bought it at launch, so I have two copies of this. Anyway, so all in all... Yeah. That was a pretty good direct. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, obviously, the big the big thing is going to be Thousand Year Door. I liked Thousand Year Door a lot. It's not like my favorite. There's a lot of people that like this is their favorite video game. So yeah. like this is going to be huge for them, and I'm excited for them. Uh, at some point, I want to play through the original Paper Mario because I've never played it. Oh, I love that game so much. I've oh. never played it. Uh, me and Mal went through Mario RPG and then I wanted to stream Paper Mario and then Thousand Year Door with her. So now I can, when we eventually get to that, Thousand Year Door can be the remake, which is nice. Otherwise, F-099 was really, really neat because I just want them to do something with F-Zero. And I'm also excited about Luigi's Mansion coming to Switch. Those are probably the big things for me. And for you, you're going to play Tactics Ogre. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Super Mario RPG, obviously excited. A Thousand Year Door, I would like to finish it, because again, it's just a game that I've started over and over and never completed. Like, I know I got pretty close to the end, so I feel like it's, you know, time. Yeah. But yeah, a lot of those sort of like, vaguely Shakespearean-esque, this is the thing that I know that makes me old is that is that like I don't love the like super anime look sometimes. Yeah. Like you know that for me like one of the best art styles is I really really still extremely enjoy the original uh, Final Fantasy Tactics art style. Yeah. Cuz like it does it's got the anime. Yeah. But like there's always a point for me where I I like it I like when those games are a little more realistic, and I know I'm asking for a lot, but it's just sometimes like when like the outfits get too crazy, like that kind of like destroys my immersion. Like I really love, I really love games with like political intrigue, yeah. but like when the outfits get like crazy anime, like I check out. Like I, I don't, I don't know if it's just like the the aesthetic that I enjoy. Yeah, is it because I'm old and grumpy? I don't know, but like, there's just there, there's a point where somebody has too many crazy clothes on, and mm -hmm. I'm just I'm just out. I'm like, I can't do it. I'm like, I want to have a cloak. <laughs> just a cloak. <laughs> just 
<laughs> I just a, need a cloak. There's, this is I, this is gonna confuse so many people I know, but like, there, there's just that there's. I want my political intrigue to not have too many cool anime clothes. Like, I like cool anime stuff, but yeah. I, I, to, to me, I don't like it when they get. You don't want them mixed. I don't want them mixed. I want to be the. Sh- I want to have the Shakespeare, and then I want to have like the crazy clothes. And when they mix, that's fair. I'm just a little like. Hmm. I um, yeah, I. <laughs> I am also excited about Super Mario RPG Remake, obviously. That's a big one for me. Um, and Super Mario Wonder. But again, my, my big issue, as it continues to be for my entire life, is there are too many games. And this has been a really big year for video games. Mm-hmm. So... Hoo, hoo, hoo. We'll see whenever I can figure out how to balance all that in. But there's a bunch of stuff I want to play. I will play the Mario RPG remake. Yeah, yeah, obviously. That's that's on the top of my list. Especially because it's interesting. Like, they're going to have to rebalance the battles for sure. So I think it's going to be a very, you know, like spiritually similar experience. But I assume it's probably going to be... The battles are going to feel very fresh and new. Because, yeah. yeah, they have to rebalance it if they're adding in something where now you attack everybody. Yeah. Like, that's, that's going to end these new, like, triple attacks and stuff. So Just rebalancing that game in goes. general, I think, is probably a, a fun idea. Because yeah. it'll make it feel fresh. And, and games at that time, it was very easy to just be like, uh, <laughs> equip the one item, the lazy shell. <laughs> Give everybody yeah. a lazy shell and just bulldoze it. And so it's nice that it'll be a little more balanced, I assume. Um, Haley, thank you for joining me. Yeah. This is great. Because yeah. I always do the directs with uh, with Mal. This is like a different perspective on things, too. Yeah, I'm happy to step in for her while she is uh, while she's recovering. And if anyone wants to learn more about that, I've got some blogs out now that you can you can check out. Uh, that's it for today. We will be back for more Nintendo Directs in the future. With the Xeno Gears release. I'm sure the next Nintendo Direct. Certainly. Oh, 